Um, hi, I'm talking to Majan today over in Western Australia, and she has won the the major prize, the 2D award in the Deritz Art Award. And we're very excited to be speaking to you, Majan. <laughs> hi, um, Sandra. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me. It was an unexpected surprise, and I'm so deeply honored and grateful for this award. Oh, look, it, it's just <laughs> wonderful. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I just wanted to ask you a few questions, Majan. And, sure. and the first one really is, what inspired you to do this painting? Yeah, well, my background is in classical art, including classical music. Um, in my painting, I use traditional methods that go back to the old masters. Um, it's a very skill-based type of work um, for which a strong foundation in drawing is fundamental. So it's like being a pianist, you know, it's practice every day. And uh, it's, there is a famous Greek um, I think philosopher who says there's not a day without a line. So Not a day without a line. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so it's yeah. amazing. And I was yes. also very much inspired by Pre-Raphaelite painters that I actually discovered them in Australian museums. Uh, when I came to Australia. So like them, I, I tried to reimagine and reinterpret the classical past and bring my love and passion for this type of painting to a contemporary audience. Oh, it's wonderful, Majan. Thank yes, you. Your, your painting certainly has that uh, feeling of the old masters. Yeah. Um, wonderful, thank you. Now your technique is, is mm -hmm. um, very beautiful. Uh, we were looking at the texture and the Yes. The brush strokes in your work. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, basically, I studied for four years, about four years in Florence, Italy, in academies. And I also did lots of drawings mm. for many hours in museums, like the famous Uffizi in Florence and also in Rome. And uh, basically, Sandra, I tried to create timeless quality in my paintings that can have a universal appeal and uh, I suppose be relevant to the audience today and hopefully for all times. Mm. But in terms of the, the technique itself, um, it basically is what we call a Venetian um, style of painting. And it comes from the great high Renaissance 16th century painters like Titian mm. in Venice. And essentially you, you approach the oil painting uh, by building many layers in which you move back and forth and you gradually find the image of the ideal you have in mind. Mm. Um, at the same time, I particularly admire Rembrandt's later style of painting, uh, which I try to <laughs> with difficulty emulate. Mm. And that by itself also goes back to the Venetian painters. And I use this method in hope. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lucky <laughs> you having been able to sit closely with those old masters. <laughs> yes, it was yeah. a great privilege. Yes, oh, that's yeah. sure. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. So your painting is titled Hope. And yes. What, what does hope represent for you, uh, mm. Rajan? Yeah. Um, well, it was really a chance for me to explore narrative painting possibilities in the genre of portrait painting, uh, because narrative painting is my main passion and I have always loved telling stories. Uh, I actually have a master's degree also in English literature. So mm -hmm. for me, it was a great opportunity to explore all this in Rembrandt's later style of painting that I admire. And I really believe that his rough but subtle method of painting and the beautiful light and the atmosphere he creates suited my subject really well. Mm. Um, and I guess hope is one of the major you know, human <laughs> conditions. And I believe that in difficult times, such as we all experience both personally and together, as yeah. the saying goes, I guess hope spring eternal. So it was a very apt subject, I thought. Yeah, Just definitely. Cool. Yes, that's yeah. what we have, don't we? We have hope. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now we're kind of looking at beautiful images of your studio, and I'm wondering what you're working on now, Marjan. What sort of paintings? Yes. Well, I'm trying to continue to explore allegorical and narrative themes through portraiture. Um, exploring light, mood, character and poetry. I'm a bit mm. obsessed under about technique and I'm constantly experimenting to achieve to the ideal I have in mind. Um, but it is always in a way that draws upon and revives the great traditions of classical Western art. Mm. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> well, look, congratulations again. 
Marjan, and it's it's such an honour to be able to speak to you and to give the audience out there a little more, you know, a little more information about your painting straight from you and your heart. Yeah. So thank you so much for talking to me today. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sandra. Great. I'm very grateful and deeply honoured for this recognition of my work. Really, thank you. That's great. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right, well, make sure everyone out there that you come and have a look at the, this beautiful painting called Hope. And the gallery is open uh, now from Tuesday to Saturday, 8, 8 a, oh, sorry, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, Tuesday to Saturday. So it is on until the 5th of September. So thank you again, Marjan. <laughs> See thank you. Thank you very much, Sam. Thanks. Bye. Bye.